Fancy. Today we are making a video based on our understanding of the most powerful weapons in Supernatural series. Starting at number 10, Angel Blade. Angel Blades was created by God and given to all his angels in heaven. It can kill lesser demons and monsters like vampires and werewolves. It can also kill hellhounds and other angels, but not archangels or princes of hell. 9. Staff of Moses. It was an extremely powerful heavenly weapon that was kept in the armor in heaven. It was used in ancient Egypt by Moses and displayed immense dominance of power, for example turning a river into blood and parting the Red Sea. It came into possession of Balthasar, who then used it for his own personal deeds. In Supernatural, the staff could not be used at its full capacity because it was split into several pieces. But at its current state, it liquefied a man and turned his meat, bones and tissues into blood. Number 8. The First Blade The first blade served as a lock and key to Amara's prison. The bearer of the mark was the only one who could effectively use the blade because it was empowered by the darkness. With that being said, you can't deny its immense power. It's one of a few weapons that can kill a knight of hell, and it has formerly been called the most powerful weapon on the planet. At number 7, Kaya's Spear. The spear appeared later in the show when the multiverse was introduced. It came from a monster apocalyptic world, and was wielded by Kaya from that world. While its origin is unknown, how strong it really is, we don't really know. But what we've seen from the show is that it could wound or possibly kill the Archangel Michael. When Michael finally got his hands on the spear, he destroyed it, by effectively breaking it in half. Number 6. Death's Scythe The scythe was owned by the horseman Death and it was one of the most powerful weapons in the universe, said to kill and reap anything it touches. The weapon was so powerful in fact that it was able to kill Death himself. According to death, he would be able to reap God himself, but later it was proven otherwise after Lucifer snapping his finger and instantly killing the current death, suggesting that it could probably not even kill an Archangel. Coming in at number 5, we have the Archangel Blade. The Archangel Blade is the only known weapon to be able to kill an Archangel. However, it has to be wielded by another Archangel to kill another Archangel. At number 4, we have Lucifer's Spear. While its creator is unknown, it was formerly stored in one of Lucifer's crypts where he stored certain powerful artifacts. The reason why we put it so high on the list is because it was able to cause great harm to a weakened Amara. But even at that state, Amara is still an omnipotent being. At number 3 we have the Lance of Michael. It kills the bad ones fast and the good ones slow and painful. It was created by the Archangel Michael, to be specifically used against Lucifer. Getting pierced by the lance would give Lucifer a slow and painful death, where he would use Sprout away. We saw it happen to Castiel, since he was an angel, suffering a fate that was meant for Lucifer. And then Ramiel, the Prince of Hell, dying instantly while getting hit by the spear. As a powerful angelic weapon, the lance kills anything it touches. At number 2 we have the Hand of God. The Hand of God are objects that God touched under biblical times and contains a small portion of God's power. According to the lore, a hand of God could harm or possibly kill Amara if it was wielded by one of God's chosen, which is why Lucifer using it didn't work. It being a hand of God goes without saying that it could possibly kill anything in creation. In the final spot, we have the Equalizer. The Equalizer was created by God to purposely kill Jack the Nephilim, after Jack caused global havoc by simply saying the word stop lying, causing the entire planet to speak the truth and the truth only, forcing God to step in and undo the changes that was becoming a reality. According to God himself, the gun could kill literally anything in existence, but the wielder would also die in the process. We later learned that it cannot kill God himself, only temporarily grounding him on earth. Here's a few honorable mentions. Ruby's Knife as in the name it first appeared in the series wielded by a blonde demon chick named Ruby, and was later acquired by Sam. It was created to slay lesser demons instantly destroying them and their essence. The Cult The weapon was crafted by Samuel Colt in the 1800s. It kills everything except five things in creations, and that being independent races like angels, leviathans, Eve mother of all monsters, the horsemen, and the bearer of the Mark of Cain. But it's worth mentioning it can't kill other things that Samuel Colt didn't know about when he made the weapon, for instance the Shadim, and obviously it can't kill primordial beings like God, Amara or the Thing from the Empty.